Wow your guests at your next event with these delicious buffalo chicken wonton cups. Crispy on the outside, so moist and juicy on the inside. If you're new to my channel, I welcome you and I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button. To all my subscribers, thank you for your love and support. Let's get into this delicious recipe. start off we're gonna start with our chicken pieces first and here I have some chicken tenders um, I'm using you can use breast thigh you know any meaty part of the chicken you can use for this I'm gonna go in with some salt and we're gonna steam this a little bit and I'm gonna add some black pepper and that's it we're gonna put it on the stove and let it come up to a steam and this doesn't take long to cook it cooks very very quickly so we're gonna keep an eye on it Our chicken is steaming these are the other ingredients we will be using to prepare our delicious wonton cup so I have some cream cheese here some red bell peppers the sweet ones garlic cilantro scallion jalapenos you can omit the jalapenos if you don't like it too spicy i have here some hot sauce wonton wrappers and i'm using some swiss and gruer um, shredded cheese and also some ranch so as soon as our chicken finish we're going to proceed to shred the chicken and add all these delicious this flavors this is what our chicken pieces are looking like you do not want to overcook them because remember we're going to pop them back in the oven and you know finish them off so it's been about three minutes i'm gonna give them about another four minutes and then i'm gonna pull them out and we're gonna start the shredding process so while our chicken is being boiled we're gonna go ahead and prep our muffin tins for our wonton wrappers i am spraying mine here with some olive oil cooking spray feel free to either grease it with some oil or whatever you have on hand I'm gonna grab my wonton wrappers and you wanna go ahead and insert them into the muffin tin, you know, press them down. Um, I'm, I went ahead and preheat my oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the top of these wonton wrappers when I'm finished stuffing them into the muffin tin. And I'm gonna pop them into the oven and bake them off for six minutes. Do keep an eye on them as they, you know, get crispy very quickly. You don't want them to get burned. I will be pulsing my chicken just to break it up in my food processor, but you can do this, you know, with a blender or you can shred it with your hand, whatever is easier for you. So we're gonna go ahead and pulse it. This is what our shredded chicken pieces are looking like. This is why I like to do it in the food processor. You get awesome result. But you know, if you don't have a food processor, you can shred it up with a fork, with your finger, you know, with your fingers, whatever works for you guys, whatever works for you. So now I'm gonna proceed to start adding our other condiments to this to season up our chicken well. And I'm gonna go in our garlic our bell peppers our cilantro i'm gonna save some of the cilantro to top it off when we're finished in goes our scallions and our jalapenos oh ton of delicious flavors ahead and add our cream cheese as you can see i cube it up you know i want it to be easy to work with and i'm gonna go in with our hot sauce and i'm just trying to pour it out why is it gotta be difficult sometimes why in goes our hot sauce mm. and this is smelling good or more like our buffalo hot sauce this is what it's looking like this is the brand if anyone wanna you know try that brand and i'm gonna go in with our ranch want to measure it out and do bear in mind everything I'm using will be listed in the description box below for your convenience but look at all those flavors it's smelling divine we're gonna go in with our spatula mix everything in well and then I'm gonna go in with our cheese I just want to mix this in get it incorporated 
mix all these delicious flavors in. Who's hungry? Who is hungry? If you're new to my channel, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for your support. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Flavor profile is on point. So you want to mix everything in well. I'm going to go ahead and do that, incorporate everything well, and then we're going to Now that I have everything well incorporated, I'm going to go in with my cheese, and I'm going to just quickly mix this in. Want that cheesy goodness, rich, juicy, cheesy goodness. So let's grab our cups, start filling them, and finish this up. This is what our wonton cups are looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and spoon about a teaspoon of our filling into these cups. And we're gonna top it off with a little bit of cheese, and we're gonna pop it back into our oven, as you hear. Our oven is screaming for us there we're gonna pop it into the oven and you know let the cheese melt up really nice into them and we're gonna do a sample after that fill them up good we like them nice and fill that's Rio Rio say hi say hi everyone Rio <laughs> So Rio didn't make his special appearance in a while for you guys. He hear mama in the kitchen talking and of course he have to make his presence known. So I'm going to finish these up and then I'm going to come back when we're going to top them with the cheese. This is what they're looking like. So I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of cheese. Remember the cheese is mixed in in here. We still have to melt but you know we're packing more cheese. Yes because we like cheese in this house. So I'm going to pop these in about a couple minutes, maybe four or five minutes or so into the oven. Let everything melt, melt all that melty cheesiness, goodness, melt down. And then we'll have Miss Atiana sample for you guys. This is one of her favorite guys. So here you have it, our finished buffalo chicken wonton cups. These are looking divine and we're going to have hubby do the taste test. I know you guys want to see him. <laughs> so go ahead, break into it. Let's see. Listen to that crisp. Ooh, cheesy good. Smells really good. Go in for the bite. Oh, very <laughs> tasty. <laughs> So there, it's crispy on the outside, it's cheesy and gooey on the inside, and it's filled with that delicious chicken filling. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. If you do try it, leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts on it. Thank you so much for your love and support. See you guys soon with another delicious video. Why hobby eat that for you guys? <laughs> Cheers! <laughs>